Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. I thought in today's video I had talked about how I always have a one year plan and a five year plan. And I want to share a little bit about that with you guys, especially during times that are sort of down like the pandemic or you know, we all have ups and downs in life. But whenever I go down, I think about my one year plan and my five year plan and I get super, super, super excited, right? Because you need to have like you need to have prospects for your future you have to have dreams you have to have wishes even if you've achieved everything that you have wanted in life i still think you need to be able to have that what am i going to do in one year what am i going to do in five years and that's what i'm here to share with you guys about nick do you have anything like that in your life mm -hmm, i you do, do. Mm -hmm. seriously one year five year plan what's yours kind of i've always told myself that i want to be married with two children <laughs> by 30. You are married. You have two children. Oh, great. Nicolette and Blair. That's true. Uh, see, all your wishes have come true, except you're not even 30. Can I divorce and appeal? Absolutely <laughs> not. And you're giving me alimony. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, that was always my... Really? Yeah. I think it's really, really important. Um, and especially during the pandemic, at the very beginning, it was sort of like daunting for all of us, where I was like, Nina, no. One year plan, five year plan. So it is January. Um, it is the beginning of a brand new year, hopefully a better year for all of us in 2021. And so I want to let you guys know, I sat down and I think about this sometimes throughout the day while I'm working or just when I'm at home chilling with a glass of wine, I was like, come on, Nina, snap out of it. What's your one year plan? I, so I've been really thinking about doing this a long time. I've been thinking about starting an e-commerce business. And I think what better time than now, especially with a lot of retail stores shutting down and more and more people buying online, I thought it's the best time to sort of jump into it. So I've actually started the process of the business. So a couple of, I've been working on it, what, like a couple of months now? Since probably the summer. Yeah, probably. So just like- August? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I've just been doing like the little steps necessary to go ahead and get everything together. The last thing is that we just hired, I just hired, and I do have a business partner in this, by the way, um, which I'm really excited about. Someone who's very knowledgeable, very smart, and just has the same work ethic as I do. So I feel that that's, I'm excited for that. And we've actually hired um, someone who's going to do our e-commerce hosting the website and everything. So that's amazing. And he's just so knowledgeable. So I was on a conference call the other day and just the prospect of like launching this very soon, hopefully, you know, and seeing revenue in the next year. So that's my one year plan. I think everyone's gonna like wonder, like what is it? And is it gonna be attached to your name and all of that? Do you wanna answer that? Um, yes, I'll let you know. So it's not gonna be attached to my name, but you guys will definitely know that I'm involved because I'm gonna promote it all over my socials, right, Nick? Right, wife. Yes. And um, what else do you think people will want to know? Like, like what are you? What is it that you're gonna sell? Which? Um. So right now I'm still working on the details, but it's gonna be a wide array of products, you know. So it's gonna be. AKA she can't tell you. Okay. AKA I can't tell you guys not yet. But I'm really, really <laughs> excited. I think it's going to be really nice, modern, uh, just things. I think that it's going to go from a whole array of like, oh my God, I need this right now, or I can't wait. It's just going to be large pieces, small pieces, a bunch of different things. It's going to be really nice. The website is about to start going under construction, which I'm really happy about. And we'll see. So like, and I think this is the best time to start an e-commerce business. For all of you out there who want to start one, I think this is the best time to start selling your products online. And I encourage all of you to do it. I hadn't even thought we were ever gonna start an e-commerce. Mm -hmm. It's not easy, you guys. By the way, it is not easy. I'm letting you guys know. It, you can start any kind of business you want. You can start e-commerce like right now, literally. But you have to optimize your business. You have to have, you know, uh, you have to have advertising, like publicity, like so many something different- Something that sets you apart from everyone else. And something that sets you apart from everyone else. I think I have that niche and I'll let you guys know as I delve more into it. Um, and we'll go from there, but yeah, it's not easy. And the more I get into it, the, I realize the harder it is, but at the same time, I love business. It gets me really, really, really excited. So my one year plan is in the next year to be able to launch my e-commerce business and go from there. So what do you guys all think about that? And Nick, what do you think? I'm so excited. I am too. This and has I'm, been in the making. It's been in the making, but it, it's it's hard, like you said. So you have to take step one, step two, step three. And I've really never done, have I done e-commerce? No. Kind of, with the cookbook. But yeah, we kind of did it with the cookbook, but that was just like 
a digital copy, a hard copy. Right. It wasn't. You a, have several products. Yeah, it's not like just one cookbook. On this next e-commerce business that I'm getting into, there's a variety of stuff on there. So it's like also like visiting stores or going online and finding exactly which products I want to extrapolate and this and finding vendors. Um, there's one vendor I'm trying to find for a certain thing and I'm having so much trouble because a lot of them have gone out of business because of the pandemic. Everyone keeps asking from like, are you going to release another cookbook since we brought that up? Oh, I, should I? Let us know in the comments. Should I? Part two. Part two. Should I? I'm really proud of that cookbook and Nick, we really did a great job. So that's my one new plan. So when I get up and if I feel down, I know I touched my hair again. When I get up, if I feel down, I'm like, no, Nina, come on, snap out of it. You gotta go find this vendor. You gotta get this done. You gotta get that done, you know? Cause dentistry for me has gotten to a point that I've been doing it so long, I could do it blindfolded, mm -hmm. you know? Like it's exciting, it's fun, I love it. But this business, it like boils like under, I don't know what how to say it. Like when I think about a brand new business, it's just so exciting. Like I wanna live, breathe, eat, everything, like every single second. So that's a one year plan and hopefully it'll, you know, hopefully it'll be a successful one and we'll all follow my journey through it and see what happens. Now, five year plan. So the one year plan is that excitement, like now, 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 now. But why am I doing the one year plan in order to have my five year plan? So this is my five year plan, which gets me so, so, so excited. So Blair's almost 14, um, actually it should be 14 in two months. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh my God, I can't believe it. They grow so fast. So she's always told me like at 18, she's, she's either gonna go to college or move out or something. She doesn't wanna live with her mom at 18. So that's about a four to five year plan right there. I mean, not exactly four, cause she's gonna turn 18. It's not like she's like moving out right then, you know? Right. But around five years, I've already told her to, and she's totally okay with it. And I said, Blair, I'm actually thinking about retiring and moving to Miami. What do you think of that, Nick? Are you gonna come visit me? No. He does not like Miami. I started going to Miami like a few years ago, like almost all the time, because I literally, a few of my friends had moved there and it was so exciting, so fun. So let me tell you what I love about Miami. I love the like high rise towers that overlook the water. So I'm gonna get one of those, okay? And then I want it to be minimalistic and completely modern, completely opposite of my house, okay? Yeah, your house isn't really modern. It's not modern. What is it? Like, uh, what do you call this? White and gold palace. <laughs> it's just Persian. Persian, what do you call it? Someone Persian? will tell us what it's called. What is it? Someone will tell us. Someone please tell us what is it. I don't have, I only have one Persian rug though. Persian households have like rug on top of rug on top of rug. Um, I don't know, this is Nina's palace. <laughs> exactly. So, and I love the weather in Miami. I love the, it's so good. The weather in Miami is so good for my skin, so good for my hair. And I feel like LA has just been get, getting colder like year after year after year. And I don't know, it's that, and that excites me. You see what I mean? It's like the excitement of business in one year and in five years, like moving to Miami. Now I might love it, I might hate it. I don't know. You Would know? you move back if you hate it? If I hate it, of course I'll move back. Cause you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not selling my home. I'm just gonna rent it out. You know, so, and that's the thing, like don't sell your home pack and just be like, oh my God, now like if I sell my house, move away and I don't like it, then there's no way for me to come. I'll probably lease out my house for like a good year, move out for a good year, see how I like it, whether I do yes, whether I don't, whatever, and go from there, but you have to try. You know what else is my five-year plan? It's like not just to move to Miami, but Miami's really close to the Caribbean. You know, mm -hmm. so because when I used to go to the Caribbean, I'd land in Miami for a night and I'd go to the Caribbean. My whole thing is like, I'm not sure if I'll be practicing dentistry in five years. That's kind of my goal, you know, because I think like with what I do, it's so physically um, straining that I'm not even sure if I can do it. I'm not sure. But um, my goal is to retire, move to Miami and then travel and hopefully still have my e-commerce business. What Which are your thoughts? Which would by then be self-sufficient. Exactly, exactly. I, I'll make it self-sufficient. There's no way I'm not. I do not give up, you guys. Where there's like one sale, I'm gonna be like, I made one sale this year, yes! <laughs> e-commerce success, here we go! So yes, I think that's what I wanna do and I wanna travel to all different places in Florida. I love West Palm Beach too. Travel to the Caribbean. Um, hopefully by then everything will be done and we won't have like the pandemic. I'm talking five years down the line, you guys. I wanna travel more, 
to all sorts of places. I want to go to Italy. I want to go to Paris. I want to go to um, Spain. I want to go to Greece. I really want to, I, I have traveled a lot in my lifetime, but again, being working like, but again, having three offices and raising my kids, my travel was always limited, you know, and I'm looking forward to in five years, not just living in a high rise overlooking the beautiful waters in Miami, but to really be able to pick up and go whenever I want. So retire. Yeah. And you guys, I want to let you know that no matter what stage of your life you're at, whether you're college, high school, middle school, or you're um, already retired, whatever it may be, you can always have a one-year plan and a five-year plan. This is what I want to let you guys know, that I've had one-year plans and five-year plans that did not work, but I never let that get to me because I immediately redo another one year and another five-year. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, don't let the fact that if something doesn't happen really like destroy your hope what are you looking at? I mean, it looks like someone's coming in, but like, it's the trees moving. It's just so scary. I don't like it. Turn on the lights outside. Why? No, just so we can see what's outside. Okay, now you can see a little better. I just think we should just get that fixed. Like, just a full door, no glass, no nothing. Okay, Nick. <laughs> but my house is really legit so scary because it gets so dark at night. And then um, the trees always go all over the place and there's wind and it's just like noise in the background. But so don't say that to the people who are going to rent my house when I move to Miami. No, it's great. It has perfect plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> there's never any drama. Never. Never anything. The house wasn't featured on YouTube videos. It was not featured on, on a YouTube. TV show. <laughs> exactly. There you go. No, but um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So that's what it is. But don't get discouraged if it doesn't happen. Though this what I'm trying to talk to you guys about this in this video is that have, give yourself hope of your future dreams and aspirations, but don't give up on it at, or reformulate it to have a new one year plan and you fight. So let's say I'm starting an e-commerce business in a year, takes off, makes no money, nobody buys. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to close down that chapter. I'm going to not give up in the beginning, but let's just, if it just doesn't work, it's fine. Have a new one year plan, right? Have that. So, but you have to try. In life, if you don't try, you're not gonna get anywhere. And that's, some of my one-year plans have never worked. Some of my five-year plans haven't worked, but that doesn't mean I give up. But it makes me happy to know I have something in the works, a new business coming on. And like, I'm looking at apartments in Miami all the time now. It's like, oh my God, I would love this one. By the way, the prices are so much less expensive than here. Great. That's what I think. Somebody so told me in another video that they're not, but I mean, from what I'm seeing in the locations that I'm finding these apartments, I don't know, maybe because of the pandemic, but they're really, really good. So right now, everyone's going to move to Miami. Exactly. Thank you, please. Not everyone, but everyone has them. If you get a brand new building, they have like hurricane. Um, like, yeah, but then you won't be like, it's going to be worse than the pandemic. You're not going to be able to go out for weeks. And then once you go out, there's going to be trees everywhere. There's going to be a palm tree in your bathroom. It's not that Snakes bad. Snakes in coming up in your plumbing, alligators on the streets when you're just trying to go at Starbucks. Thank you. Next. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'll deal with all that in my high rise overlooking the water. Okay. And I love it because there's so many yachts there. I'm going to go to yacht parties. I'm going to be hopping yacht after yacht. And then with I. Gray hair. Wait, are you going to rock your gray hair when you get it one no. day? No. You're going to dye it? Yeah. Really? Yes. Do you get gray hair? No, I don't have any. You don't actually. Wow. I really don't. I don't think I'm going to get gray hair. I have a gray hair on my... Look at I know, I saw that. No, you did <gasps> not. <laughs> I've stressed him out. He's aged. Yeah. Children. No. Oh, yeah. no, I don't have a single gray hair, which I don't know. Watch me next year. I'm all silver, you know? With that said, everybody go out there and get yourself a one-year plan, a five-year plan, and DM me down. I mean, uh, leave a message down below. DM me. Let me know what it is. I'm excited to hear all of you guys' hopes, goals, dreams, everything else. And with all that said, I hope everyone has a healthy new year, happy new year, and a one in five year new year. <laughs> and don't forget, keep vlogging.